I'm Lisa Mannion. I live at Six Rosetta Drive up in Tuscany Estates. I am here regarding the roads not being finished by Quaker Engineering. I live at the end of Grosetto, and there was a turnaround. It was never finished. There was about six inches of mud in the turnaround that I look at every day. The um, garbage trucks, post office, everybody drives through there. They try to maneuver the, to turn around. They drag the mud out of the mud up the street, up Grosetto. I pull into my driveway, the mud goes into my driveway. This has been going on for since I moved here 11 years ago. They never finished the road. They didn't put the turnarounds in. The turn, the, the, the turnaround. But then people back up onto my sidewalk and in my yard. And my sidewalk in the HOA, I'm responsible for the sidewalk. So all these vehicles driving on my sidewalk, I have to fix it. So I know I was on the HOA board up there for eight years. It's like pulling teeth with us too, with um, Quaker Engineering. But <coughs> where are we at with things getting done with Quaker Engineering? Like I know that they were given a list like two years ago as to what needs to be done before Miranda buys it. But I mean, <coughs> this is ridiculous. It's literally six inches of mud in front of my house. So, so do we know what's going on? Does anybody know which, yeah, where we're at with all that? We, we've had we've had some meetings with Tuscany Estates. I believe one of the, the most recent meeting, um, the most recent meeting, I believe some representatives were there from your HOA. Correct. So it's here to talk about it. It's my understanding there are some outstanding issues. I think I believe I received an email from. Lisa Burkhart, who is the legal counsel for the HOA. <clears throat> My understanding is there was some, a lot of resolution was made as to what needs to be done. So basically, I, there are action items that... Was that recently? Have they had a meeting? Yes. Yeah. I think, what was that, a couple weeks ago or something? I think it was three on a Monday. Here. We just met, but that meeting had nothing to do with the infrastructure right. of the Tuscany Estates. That has to do with the pool and, and other okay. stuff. Okay, I, I'm on that list too because I want to know the same questions. I'm going to ask the same <laughs> things. I know we've went against the bond already. At one point, we sent a letter to them. I know there's been multiple estimates done, but that meeting had nothing to do with what you guys have to get finished up from Quaker Engineering. I, I, I presumed, again, or assumed, which is again, Made about that, but I assumed that all these items were outstanding items that need to be addressed. Right, but that's been two years. He got the letter two years ago when I was on the board. Earl Danielson and Bruce got the list like two years ago. Okay. It was like a whole list of like 12 things. They had to put crossing walks in, they had to put turnarounds in, they had to put signs up. They've done nothing. I thought that this was part of the engineering things that needed to be done to complete the, to facilitate this transaction. With, Moron, that's my understanding. It was originally two years ago. And, right? and that's with the township. That's not, that has nothing, nothing to do to with Tuscany Tos right. Estates HOA. Yeah. What we are fighting with them over are property that they should have gave to us 10 years ago. Right. But Lisa actually started the ball right. rolling and right. tried to get it into right. our name, and it never happened. It still hasn't happened. So the Lisa Barkhart thing has nothing to do. So with the roads getting done and everything. They never put the final coat on Grosetto. That's why they said they didn't put the turnaround in. I had to put a guardrail in when I moved in because there's a cliff behind it. And cars come flying down that road thinking it continues on. And because, it doesn't. But, but this road is not a township road, am I correct? Not it's current. supposed to be, yeah. okay? You guys are supposed to be getting ready to take it over. But once again, I know for a fact there's a punch list out there. TJ's been reviewing it. Right. But this is all township slash Quaker engineering stuff, not us, okay? It has nothing to do with Tuscany Estates. HMA. You guys have a bond on this. Right. Okay, okay so, but, but again, I, okay. So we do have a bond that's outstanding. Correct. Right. 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 So and that was supposed to be used to do all this. So basically, we have a bond, I think, of 100000 or something like that? 139000 So So he needs to get those things immediately yeah otherwise you go against the bond yeah i'm not familiar with the letter that she's referencing in her comments but in august of last year our office 
made a visit <coughs> and reviewed all of the infrastructure that was to be dedicated to the public um, as part of the original approved plans up at Tuscany and generated the punch list. Um, we've made numerous requests to the developer to obtain a cost estimate for the completion of the remaining items. That cost estimate needs to be signed and sealed by a registered professional engineer so that we can verify that the bonding is adequate and then move forward with a separate agreement that Dennis's office is drafting between Quaker Engineering Company, the township, and I, I, the potential developer. I think I've already drafted that as a note. But I That's correct. It's out the outstanding item is or I mean, items is the amount that still needs to be completed as part of the public improvements so that the township can take over the road. So basically these items that this this lady's talking about should be part of that punch list. It is. They are. And is. basically we have if they don't do it, then we go against the bond. And if I'm correct, Michelle did find us the original bond because that was one concern I had. So we do have the bond to go. But this has been 10 years be that we've been saying, we've been told that the bond's going to be used if they don't do it. If they don't do it, well, well it's been I years. Just, I understand we need that. deadlines. Yeah. That? We need deadlines. Yeah. They don't give us a deadline. Well, that's, I, but again, I, I just came back in the polls, I believe, in November 1st, 2022. So I don't know what happened before, why they didn't do anything, but I will say from my perspective, I think myself and TJ and the board, the new board basically have done a lot, trying to get this thing moved through, but I assumed that all these things were being handled. So this punch list, are you familiar with the punch list she's talking about, TJ? Not the one she's talking about. The only one I'm familiar with is the one that our office wrote in August of last year. But that's what I'm saying. That was August. This is August of February. We went, we went so which, far as to notify which, the bonding company of the intent to potentially... What the fuck is that? Bond. 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 I'm sorry. I forgot to show you. Uh -huh. So we've already notified... <coughs> right, Michelle, I, I requested one evening. I, I got I was somewhat anxious. So I asked Michelle to go to the trailer back here to locate the original bond. And she did locate the original bond, which we have. And I think, TJ, did you send a letter to them we did. about there being an issue? Now, again, we deal with this with Quaker uh, engineering, whatever you call it. They're difficult to nail down. We've, we've met with them a number of times. But if we don't get this resolved, then maybe we should just, you know. Why can't we pull the bond and just do it? Well, you don't pull the bond. You have to, you have to give them notice of the bond. Okay, okay. did yeah. we give them yeah, notice? If you want, I mean, that's, if the board, if, if. Is that an adequate bond amount? That's the question we're there. trying to answer because we've been given a cost estimate that's not, not signed or sealed. I saw the numbers too low. Oh yeah, there's no way. The bond is no. How much no is way. the bond? No. no. One hundred and thirty. I remember a history. History bond. No way. Hey guys, one at a time. I think when uh, TJ sent him the notice. Uh, he rebutted back and or replied back saying it was going to be a lot less, but nobody ever approved any of that. Uh, I don't think it, the money that was on the letter we received, what, 50 grand or something like that, didn't seem to be uh, cost effective as far as solving all those issues mm -hmm. that you've identified. Mr. Uh, uh, Freeman and the board, do you want, what we may want to do is, if TJ can receive a, this letter that. <laughs> if, 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 if TJ can receive a copy of this letter that you're referring to, maybe. Oh, I know, I have it. Mm -hmm. I've never, I, I, I don't think I've seen it. So, and I don't know if TJ's seen it also. So, what's important that you do is you provide a copy to the board and to the, to the engineer to take a look at. And maybe, well, if the, board, if the board wishes, maybe have TJ come up with maybe a cost estimate to see what's there, and maybe start the process of executing the bonds necessary. So, I have a kind of two comments. So, when, when we reach out to the bond company, we're going to get a response. Did we send a certified letter to the bond company? Yes. And the bond is not expired either. Does not have an expiration date on it that I saw. But we're also not getting any response. 
what I can, if, maybe if I send up the letters to so that. That means the township is responsible. No. Period. That's what? not true. No, yeah. You dropped the ball. That's mm -hmm. this was our problem from back when I was there. No, the book, you have the book, you have the perform if you have that bond in place, we execute against the bond. So what I if, if the board wishes, I mean, if I send a letter saying basically that they have to start and send to Bruce Claus and saying we're gonna execute against the bond if something's not done within thirty days. Now again, we haven't dropped the ball because the bond is still there. All right. I'm not saying I, this particular no, but board. I'm saying the township. The township yeah. Well, again, I wasn't here. I understood. And, and understood. really, when I was here the first time around, we addressed a lot of these issues. I tried to at least. But if we go against, if we send, send a letter to the bonding company, if we have an idea, thank you. Again, it's up to you. Yeah, let's board. do that. So I can do that if, if you want. So is that going to take place concurrent with the tri-party agreement between... See, I, I, when, when I thought about the tri-party agreement, I forgot about these outstanding items. I thought everything, I assumed that everything was being brought together in one ball of wax. I, I, we th what? I thought that they weren't allowed to do oh, anything up there until all this infrastructure was supposed to be completed. They're not doing anything. Right. But I'm saying, he, he wrote the, he did the punch list and all this. That's like, it's been six months. I mean, that's, that's two, it's been six months, they haven't done anything. My, my understanding was... <clears throat> Miranda still is interested in taking over that development. They've submitted a conditional use, which remains on the Planning Commission's table. And it was my understanding that as a condition of that sale between Quaker and Miranda, that sufficient funds would be set aside <coughs> in escrow so that Miranda would use that money. I'm sorry, Quaker would use that money to address the items that were on the punch list. <laughs> That's not Maybe true. Miranda will not take them on. Go to Quaker, well, a lot of it going into an escrow. To, but he's not going to walk away with the money. It's going to be the money that's in escrow. The money of these two will be placed in escrow with the township. All right? So that's the way the escrow is going to work. And basically, the township would act on the escrow if he doesn't do the work. Yeah, versus Miranda giving it to Quaker directly. It would be Miranda doesn't want any. They want it all done. Like, they, they don't want to deal with the clubhouse. The pool is not, and they want everything done before they take over. So, if, so, I understand. So, you need to get a copy of that letter that you're talking about. I have not seen that letter. He didn't Nor see I. that letter. Oh, but it's probably very similar. Like I said, he wrote a letter in August. It's the same thing. It's got to be. I, well, but I will. I have it. I have it. Give us the letter. Mm -hmm. And then what, once I get the letter, I'll send the letter to the board <coughs> the certified mail yep. saying you need to do, you know, you need to respond in 30 days. That's the other issue is. Um, I think that I, I, I drafted it. I did redraft that agreement for you guys to consider. We should put that on the agenda for the 28th. So, Quaker has a agreement with the town for salting units. Right. Lots of people in custody that pay for the salting, but because he owns a road, we're, we're owed money from 2022, 23, mm -hmm. and now going into 24. So, then what we should, what I'd like to do is part of the tripartite agreement with Rhonda and with Quaker and the township, I would like to know what those costs would be so I can add that into the agreement. So if you can get that to me, I appreciate it. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. And 